introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white blood shorts trimmed with red. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 17 stone, 13 and a half pounds. From 22 contests, he has 20 wins. 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only two defeats. At the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, he struck an excellent gold medal. Presenting from Wembley, Audley. out of the blue corner wearing the solid black shorts at the weigh-in yesterday he scaled 19 stone one pound he also has an incredible record reading 41 contests 36 wins 29 of those wins coming by way of knockouts with only five defeats he comes to the ring this evening as the former heavyweight champion of great britain of the contest, Mr. Richie Davis from All Hello. Three minute rounds. Well, Richie Davis has got a lot of important work to do tonight. Let's hear what he's got to say to the two fighters. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told. Good luck to you both. Shake hands. A slightly reluctant touch of gloves. There's not too much love lost between these two. Audley Harrison felt that he was unnecessarily trashed by Danny Williams in the media after last year's defeat. And here he is looking for atonement. Williams, though, says he will now finish what he started and finish for good. Let's see what happens. And Harrison straight away moving out behind that southpaw jab and looking to cut Williams off in his own corner and looking to pick him off with punches from the word go. Is he going to be able to establish that jab? He's simply got to fight with more purpose and more authority than he did last year. He started reasonably last year. That's a good uppercut from Harrison, in close. Good left hand. It was when he got caught by a straight right from Williams in about the third round, second or third round last year, that suddenly the desire seemed to go out of Harrison. But is this going to be the man... Oh, good shot! shot from Harrison and Williams rocked right back onto his heels really good sharp short sharp left hand terrific shot Duke well there's, a, there's a, a real touch of urgency behind Harrison's work he came running out from his corner where Danny Williams was more subdued sitting on his stool right until the last second and just sort of plodded out but Harrison's just come straight out and met him absolutely punch for punch Williams has got to wake up now because that would have served as a wake-up call John and he's going to have to really get out of the rate, get out of the blocks real quick. Harrison trying to throw a fast left hook there, and it was only just off the target. Nothing really, too much from Williams so far, and I think Williams is cut. I think Williams has been cut, probably by that fast left hand in the opening stages. There's Williams coming through, but Harrison caught off balance there as much as anything. No great power in that shot. Williams has the knockout punch, 29 of his 36 wins inside the distance. Harrison, though, is literally in that last chance saloon here. Now, is that a cut around the eye? There seems to be blood around the nose of Williams as well. Take a closer look at that at the end of this round. I hope Harrison doesn't go into a shell now, John. Now he's had that success, he needs to try and build on that success. Keep Danny Williams on the back foot if he can. If he allows Williams half the chance, he'll be straight back at him. Word from Richie Davis, the referee, to to Harrison about hitting around the back of the head as Williams goes looking for the body now. And Harrison has started this fight well. Good work again, good one-two from the former Olympic champion. Yeah, he looks nice and purposeful, John. You know, we, we would hope to have had a good start from Audley Harrison, and that's what we're getting right now. Harrison, as, I was, as Barry McGuigan was saying, there's no doubt that he's got the talent, no doubt that he's got the ability what he needs to show 
is to go into that place where fighters are reluctant to go and to actually dig deep and lay it all on the line. This is the night that he simply has to do it. Closing stages of a opening, opening round, which has unquestionably gone to Audley Harrison. Good work from Harrison. Take it away, Dan. This was the shot from Audley Harrison that I think has opened up a cut on the bridge of Danny Williams' nose. Not too serious, we don't think, but Harrison has started this fight with a lot of confidence and Williams has not been able to impose his punching power so far, Duke. No, not, not this far, John. Harrison's doing a good job at the moment, it's only the second round, no, it's early days. Williams has to do what his corner has That's a slip, that's a slip. And Harrison complaining to the referee about Williams trying to hit him while he was on the floor. And uh, Williams getting told off in no uncertain terms by Richie Davis, the London cabbie, who's a no-nonsense kind of individual. And he was determined that the fans and the viewers at home were going to see as good a fight as possible, at least so far as he was concerned. All he needs to snap that jab, Johnny, needs to snap it into, into Williams' face. Not use it as a rangefinder, but use it to dictate this fight. What Williams has to do is to get close quicker, not allow him to dictate with that jab. Nobody questions. Well, there's a bit of head going in there from Williams and pushing away with the inside of the glove on the break, and the referee didn't see that. Audley Harrison needs to redeem himself, John, at least in the public eye. You know, this fight's more about redemption than, than anything else. He, he got drunk on the adulation bestowed upon him in winning the gold medal at the Olympics. But now the amateur seems long gone. Nobody's remembered that. It's all about right here and right now. By his own admission, he became too much of a celebrity figure, too much of a celebrity boxer. That's good work. They're calling him in the corner, Harrison, to spear Williams with the jab. And there's another lovely little sweet, short left-hand uppercut from Harrison, who's working well. And now they are calling timeout. And the referee's having a look, oh dear, look at that, look at that cut, it's opened up badly, it is a mess that, and the referee is having a close look at that, the doctor's in there as well, the crowd don't like this, they want to see this fight go on, but they're taking a very close look at the damage done to that nose of Danny Williams in the opening round, and is the fight going to be over in a sense of anti-climax right here, right now? That's awful. Williams wants to continue, he wants this fight to go on, and they're allowing it to go on. It's a bad, bad cut, though, and Harrison will try and spear him. Williams, though, now has got to go for broke. He's going to try and knock Harrison out. Good work from Harrison. He's been caught with the uppercut, he got caught with the uppercut, John. And another straight left from Harrison. Williams is all over the place at the moment, John. Harrison starting to turn it on and trying to take him out. Harry Williams' face is a mass of blood. It was done by the punches of Audley Harrison. At last, at last, is the moment that Audley Harrison, after 22 fights, is starting to look like the genuine article. Can it be, finally, after six years, that Harrison is waking up as a pro? Williams, though, has got danger in those fists, and he's going looking for Harrison, trying to turn it round. We've had more action in the first two rounds than we did in 12 rounds a year ago. And Williams is right in Harrison's face, trying to land bombs and more use of the head. But Williams is desperate, John. He knows it's a bad cut, albeit on his nose. He knows how bad it is. He knows he has to... Oh! Walked on to a big straight left by Harrison. Nice little step Harrison, back from Harrison. Landed another clean shot. Well, they have got a lot of work to do in that corner now. Dean Powell.